Good afternoon. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Studying Like a Nation. Now, um, today I would like to talk about this whole technique called colorometry, uh, which we use it to measure concentration of a solution. Now, um, on my bench right now today, you will see a bit of potassium permanganate um, that was generously prepared by Mr. Gensch this morning. And uh, on the far left hand side corner up there, I hope you can see it has a concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 2 uh, moles per liter. And as you can see, when we gradually reduce the concentration, the intensity of the solution in terms of the scala sort of reduces. Right? So I suppose it won't take a genius to figure out that the intensity of the color actually should be proportional in some way to the um, um, concentration of the ions in the solution. So when you think about this, right, scientifically speaking, if I actually look at the color of a solution, in theory, I should be able to actually work out its concentration. Up here, I have a calorimeter generously donated by the University of Sydney to us a few years ago. And uh, what this baby does is, on one end of the machine, it shoots out a bit of light of a specific frequency. And for today's investigation, we'll be set it at 520 nanometers, which is a pink frequency, right, through the solution. Yeah, and on the other side, you have a detector. Right? And it will measure how much light managed to pass us through the solution. So think about this logically for a bit, right? Imagine that if you have a very highly concentrated solution like this bad boy up here. All right? When the pink frequency light encounter the solution, most of it will get absorbed and not much will get through. But what if I reduce the concentration and do something that looks like this guy up here? Well, most of the light in this case will manage to pass through and therefore giving you a different reading and the reading that we get its measure in terms of absorbance, in other words, the percentage of our light actually being absorbed. The higher the percent absorbance, I hope you can appreciate the higher the concentration so of the So let's solution. get the experiment started by uh, inserting a sample in the calorimeter. So, Sia, can you actually grab the bar up there for me? Yeah. yeah. What's inside? Actually, um, solution. Clear solution, or in this case, this is the still one. So, yeah, so therefore, in this case, the concentration of the potassium permanganate will be zero. Yeah? yeah. So um, the way it works, like I described before, you get a light beam coming through from here through the solution, and then go through the detector, right? Yeah. So um, the file needs to be squeaky clean. Yeah. Make sure there's no which go our fingerprint on it or whatever, because that can actually influence the amount of absorbance. Yeah. So just give me a wipe, and we'll turn the thing on. Excellent. All right. So can you press enter for me? Yeah, you want to get closer? Okay, so you go to the testing menu. Yeah, press enter again. And we go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, and we press absorbance and press enter. Okay, and first of all, we'll choose uh, a wavelength of 520 nanometers. Yeah, and then press enter. And that's the pink frequency that we're looking at. We just insert a blank, yeah, that was the uh, distilled water, and I need you to press enter for me. So there you go. All right, we have calibrated the, or I should say, uh, we have, you know, re it in our machine itself. Yep. Okay, now, we're going to toss this one out, and then we should put in our solutions up there, and see how uh, does that actually, give, how it fills and give us, um, when it comes to absorption. Excellent. So she's just going to give it a clean, and we'll insert that back into the machine. Okay, I've taken the data collected by Zainab earlier on and I convert that into this beautiful graph up there. And as you can see, there it's a linear relationship between the concentration of the solution and the intensity of the color of the uh, what you call uh, of the solution. And in this case, uh, absorbance, which is what you actually measure from your calorimeter up there. So in the future, I hope you can see that if I do have an unknown solution, Provided that if I know how much light it absorbs through the calorimeter, I should be able to go back and work out the concentration of this unknown solution. I hope you learned something today. And once again, like, subscribe, and of course, study like an ancient. Bye.